So the word mindfulness has to do with what? What's this in your brain? Very good. Okay, and there's ways of controlling our brain through our breathing to calm us down. Midge Levy teaches preschoolers through mindfulness education to help foster early age concentration on things that children should focus on, happiness and joyful learning that eliminates early life anxiety. So if we have mindfulness with mindfulness, that means we are happy and calm and peaceful. If they do it at school every day and they're kind of forced to do it as like a curriculum, then they'll be like, by the time they're a teenager and all that stress in life is, is you know, torturing them, they'll be able to um, regulate their emotions and get through the day and get through the stress of everyday living. So do you guys understand that when you are doing well in school, that you have good ideas, that you help someone, and you're happy and peaceful inside? That's what mindfulness brings, okay? And now I'm gonna teach you how to do it. The mindfulness training by Levy has been so successful that it is now a part of the regular preschool curriculums around New York State. I had just did sorts of things that I thought the kids would um, not get bored. You know, you have to be careful with kids that are only three and four years old, that they could sit still and listen and participate and then do a visualization exercise and a breathing exercise that will help them in the future. And it will calm your whole body down, okay? Yes. The focus on mindful exercise was part of her life while raising her children particularly her son, TJ, who as a three-year-old suffered terribly with separation anxiety. And when he started preschool, he um, had a lot of separation anxiety where he would cling on to me, hold on to me, cry. I would be crying at the same time because um, I was actually also pregnant at the time with my second child. So uh, I decided to just research and start to help him with this anxiety problem which I thought had faded by the time he went to kindergarten, but we started all over again in kindergarten. She uh, did things like uh, put a picture of her and my dad in, a, in my lunchbox when I was younger, and I would always uh, do that. But if I had something like the, the Missing Mommy Cure, like, you know, teachers get very uh, fed up with you running to your lunchbox every 35 seconds. He turned into this um, very upset uh, little child, which I didn't even recognize him. And when I put him into the car to go and put his seatbelt on in his car seat, he took himself out of the car seat. He was so upset about going to school that he would rather try to jump out of the car. Levy began using mindfulness exercises for TJ to help him overcome separation anxiety and chronicled her experiences by writing a book entitled The Missing Mommy Cure and in conjunction with her education as a teacher, opened Miss Midgey's Preschool to help other parents with their children to overcome separation anxiety. So I did a test on some of the kids that had a problem coming into Miss Midgey's preschool. And I you know, tried to see if it would help some of those children that were coming in with anxiety. And it really did. And parents are coming to me saying, this is great. Um, I'm so glad you, you know, had this idea. So that's when I decided to go forward and publish the book and uh, help people everywhere. People like the Williams family whose daughter Lily suffered with separation anxiety. She needed a place where people wouldn't freak out when she, she cried about something or, or was disturbed about something. And Miss Midgets was very individualized in that way. They took care of her and in a, in a different way than I thought the other places, you know, saw her. They sit down and they calm down. They do almost, almost a meditation-like uh, situation. But then her book really helped us to come here to sit down for her to get away from us as parents and not worry the whole time she was at school. Are you ready to go to school today? You gonna have a good day? All right, love you, have fun. For Jessica DeResta, out of her two children, Vincent was the one fully capable of transitioning away from mom. Then, oh, and my second one, he was, I would have bet, my life that he would have been 100% fine. I didn't get the book for him. He couldn't wait to come to school. When we used to drop Vinny off, he would try to come in. So I didn't get him the book. I thought he would turn, walk in and not even turn around. So when he went in and I hear screaming, he cried worse than I've ever seen him cry ever. I was in complete shock. What do we breathe in through? Our belly. Right, we breathe in through our nose and our belly fills up, right? And then we hold it for a second and then we breathe out through our mouth. Very good. Put your arms up. 
Mindfulness is a medicated practice specialized for the learning environment. For information on training your child for separation anxiety and a copy of the book, The Missing Mommy Cure, go to missingmommycure.com. For Push Paws in West Babylon, this is Archie Snowden. Bye, guys. Bye.